what's up? Well, here's what's up. Um, we are efforting and working way too long and hard. Well, give us the oars. Give us the oars right now. <laughs> yeah, please take them because I am absolutely dog tired. Well, you can't get there from there. Yeah. So you have reason to feel that way. But this is what this work is. This work is to look for existing matches to feel good when the existing matches not to feel good are so evident. That's what focus is. Because it's easy to just observe what is. So you want to observe what is through the eyes of source. But since what source is observing hasn't manifested yet, you can't observe it in the way you think about observing. So you have to awareness it. We made that word up. <laughs> but think about like, what's that feeling of love? You know that feeling of being so in love that you just think you're gonna die with your cat or your dog or your man or your woman or your whatever it is, just that feeling. Well, that's not something that's tangible. It's something that you are aware of and awareness in the way we mean it is the blending of you with the way your inner being is thinking right here right now about the same thing so that's the question if we were standing in your physical shoes that we would ask ourselves when we feel discouraged like you're feeling we'd say hmm I wonder how my inner being is feeling and then we would follow that up with I know for sure my inner being feels differently than I do because if my inner being felt exactly like I do then I'd feel good right now because we'd be one but since I feel crappy that must mean that my inner being has a different take on this I wonder what it is and when you ask that question I wonder what my inner being is thinking about this you can start to receive your inner being will right away give you more general points of view about what's going on you know we can tell you that you won't remember this because it's too accurate <laughs> and too vortex listen back on the recording after a few days and it'll resonate with you but your capacity to be a match to what's in your vortex takes work and most humans aren't very good at it because you've been practicing your capacity to observe what is pigeonhole it catalog it talk about it join other groups that are talking about it that your observation of what is is so strong and so that's why the whole time that we're visiting with you we want to help you to realize that you have created a reality that is in the process of becoming that you've got to find some way of becoming aware of and since it hasn't manifested don't try to see it don't try to hear it don't try to sniff it out with your nose or your fingertips or your tongue because it hasn't manifested so that you can translate it through those sensors but you can translate it through your emotions you can translate it through optimism as compared to pessimism or hopefulness or positive expectation but you've got to find some way of hooking on to it we used to talk about the process of the book of positive aspects the way we would set it up is you remember those Esther remembers the carousel that the kids pushed on the playground and it was a big old heavy thing made out of some kind of steel or iron and it was stuck in concrete and she could barely push it by herself it hadn't been oiled in decades but if there were a few of them there they could get it going and once they got it going they could keep it going and so there were always those who were on it for the pleasure of the ride and there were always those who were assigned to keep it going because there was enough resistance in the wheel and once they really got it going the analogy that we're offering is once you really get it going that's when you have access to new insight and things like that and if you're one of the people not children Esther wants to go home and make one now <laughs> she'll probably oil hers though probably put a motor on her so if you're standing off watching it and it's really going fast now and you try to get on it's just gonna knock you off in the bushes and that's what happens when you're trying to figure out what to do you're getting out ahead of your vibrational capacity or practice to allow 
so you don't stick to it so the thought doesn't feel comforting it feels challenging because you're trying to be the law of attraction you're trying to figure out how where when who all you've got to figure out is what it is you want to feel and why that's all and if you will leave the rest to the law of attraction and your inner being and you will stand in a practiced attitude of hopefulness or expectation then again and again the universe will show you the law of attraction will show you you're on the track you're on the track you're on the track you're on your track well and, and we are and we don't feel crappy and we manifest and and and, but, and it, it happens but you know how when you buy a new iPhone or a computer and you have to set up all your settings listen to you so expert at arguing for your limitations we just <laughs> gave one of the best soliloquies of Esther's lifetime all right those words flowed so perfectly and were so resonant with the laws of the universe and you said however <laughs> that's what you gotta stop doing you realist oh. you facer of existing boring unnecessarily full of flaws and lacks reality but, but so <laughs> but so but 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 yeah so, but in playing the game of acceptance will you accept with us these premises the law of attraction is real my inner being is real my current life sucks mm, I won't accept that Yay. no why not what I because that's all we've heard from you since you sat down here no, no. okay so let's life hear it. doesn't suck make us understand okay how do we, we want to make... hear the easy existing matches how do we make we don't want to hear another question from you we're giving okay. you an opportunity to discover this okay so our premise is law of attraction is real path of least resistance is a real thing you came from non-physical you've got an inner being in your vortex gathering up the cooperative components and your current reality is not the way you want it to be more easily said my life sucks we're being dramatic on purpose and we know that you want to defend that but you feel more that way than you feel the other way you feel like it isn't working like it should like it could like it has but not like it is so just starting there we challenged you to tell us with easy existing matches why that cannot be true it's not the way you want it to be but it certainly doesn't suck but what is it about your current reality that is going to change the direction of this conversation can you see our stance here <laughs> Well, see, you can't think of anything. And the reason you can't is because you and almost everybody else are looking for existing things in order to create something that doesn't exist yet. You're wanting to explain how you want it to be done rather than just say, Our Father who art in heaven, <laughs> this is the way I'd like it to be. I've lived life. I've sorted through stuff I know that I don't want deprivation or confusion or discouragement I know that I do want clarity and abundance and good ideas flowing you just got to ask for what you want and then find a way to encourage that vibration that feeling a little while longer until something shows up that helps you to know oh I shifted and this is different now we know that by world standards the way most people live you live a fantastic life and that's why we're playing with you this way but that's irrelevant how you live in comparison with anyone else is not part of this conversation ever because the only comparison is where I am in relationship to my vortex version and you explained with every word that you spoke that where you are in relationship with your vortex version is not where you want it to be so you've got to look that away you've got to look at the vortex version you got to get your eye off what is you can't make that comparison you got to feel your way to that what thoughts feel like that that's why we offered you a new phrase we offered it on the broadcast the Abraham now broadcast a couple of days ago have not said this before it's the difference between observation and awarenessing observing 
or awarenessing. Your inner being is aware, but your inner being is not observing what is. Your inner being is aware of what's in the vortex and is giving undivided attention to all of that and all of the cooperative components. And that's why we can feel the current of you being called to it if you weren't observing where you are and explaining it and trying to defend it somehow. Like, but you don't get it. You don't get it, Abraham. I know I should be over there and I want to be over there, but I'm over here. And why won't you just let me talk about over here? And we say, because it's just going to hold you in this place that you don't want to be. And your inner being wouldn't talk to you like this. The only reason you're getting anything from us is because Esther's willing to be a little human in this process. But your inner being is not ever going to agree with you that it's hard or that you're unworthy your inner being is just doggedly focused upon what you want. And until you are, you're going to feel more like that than like your inner being feels. Does that make sense to you? <laughs> Helpful to everyone. Everybody's doing this. Esther's doing it to some extent too. She just doesn't argue with us anymore because we've convinced her that we know what's up. We know what's up. We know what's up. We're going to take a segment of refreshment in less than a minute. Give us the easy existing matches if you can and if you can't then let your inner being inspire you to where you're going talk in general terms what is it that you want what is it that's missing what is it what's the thing ease no kidding ease yeah the manifestations happen but the getting there Tiresome. That's because you're trying to be the engine. You're trying to be the law of attraction. You're trying to be the belts and pulleys. But and you, you know got why? To send and the you emails why? and fill out the forms. You know why you're and trying to answer the questions. Oh, you know why you're you trying gotta to. You got to do the. You got to do the stuff. But you know what? <laughs> when you do the stuff, we see so many of you. This morning, Esther's son-in-law and her grandson got in his beautiful Bronco and went four-wheeling. And Tracy sent pictures and they looked happy. It was five o'clock in the morning. They're so eager about where they're going. They're going to be out there all day. They're not going to have very much good stuff to eat. They packed their bag with crap. <laughs> and they're going to have the time of their life because they've decided to. They've decided to. You know why they're going for willing? Because they want the resistance of not being on the highway. They want the fun of having to figure new things out. They want the exhilaration of not being on the paved path. They want the fun of coming to a place and having to figure something out on the spot. They want to feel their resources. They want to feel alive. They want the new experience of the unknown, you see. And so aren't forms and stuff like that isn't a new endeavor like that isn't interfacing with new people like that and do you know the ability that your inner being has to smooth things out to put your form in the pile of somebody that's going to be on the ball or ready to respond in other words you get exactly what you expect all the way along the way and if you decide that I want this but I don't want to play by these rules then make up new rules but then don't contradict your new rules by saying oh they're going to make me play by the old rules you just don't understand the power of your mind you haven't exercised the power of your focus and so you are dependent upon your action and your action is not ever going to be enough and that's the void that we were talking about earlier isn't it trying to fill the absence of focus with action and it's no wonder you want more ease that is exhausting but life can be so fun and new is really where it's at and having the opportunity to have an agency or an entity or whoever they are that feel to you like they're in your way of what you want to watch the universe pick among the participants and find cooperative components cooperative components are out there they're everywhere there are people just like you who want the world to run more smoothly but you can't find them when you're focused in opposition to that if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next